Engineer 775 here. No, this is not my Ram. This is another installation. And um, here in an undisclosed location, finishing up the Ram pump today. And let me tell you what this one's doing. We are uh, pumping water out of a spring. This water is potable water. And we've got a Rife 15 HDU. It's a heavy duty Ram from Rife Ram. And uh, so just an awesome, awesome ram. And I've got 80 feet of galvanized pipe underground. I didn't bury uh, just at the couplings, just checking for leaks. Everything's doing good. And uh, I'm going to take you up to the, the supply tank, which kind of functions as a standpipe. Just a 125-gallon. Ooh, it's slippery around here. Get another tank from the fine folks at Carolina Water Tank. Use their water tank. And what I like about working with them, I didn't I could put the fittings in where I wanted to, and they weren't already preset. Now, where's the water coming from? The water's coming from, if you remember from the earlier videos on the spring, the spring is developed on the other side of this um, draw, this other side of this ravine, and it's piped over to this tank. Let me open this thing up. Let you see what she's doing. Okay, it's full of water. We got an overflow right there, that upper one. We got an overflow that takes the water back down to the creek. See the water coming out. So I've got the ram adjusted so that there's water coming out of the overflow. That means that this level will stay consistent. This level and it will hammer consistently kind of hearing it. It's cool. But the uh, supply line comes in down here, inch and a quarter, and that I contoured around to the spring box over there in the woods. I hope you can see the green box with the white pipe connecting to it. So the inch and a quarter feeds this, and uh, we're probably running around five gallons a minute out of the spring right now. Uh, we designed this for three gallons a minute, and then uh, we shot down the down the, down the down the line. So, out of the, you see the ram down there. We are 80 feet of inch and a quarter galvanized, ramming down to that uh, hydraulic ramp. It uh, is then pumping the water up 115 feet, according to the pressure gauge at the ram. So we're lifting water uh, 115 feet. We're dropping the water from this level down to the ram a little bit over 20 feet. So the ram's not working hard, uh, she's working consistently. Right now we measured oh, almost uh, six tenths of a gallon, at least half a gallon a minute being pumped, uh, and that is 720 gallons a day into the 1,700 gallon storage tank. So we've just got some uh, backfilling to do. Been a lot of crazy digging on the side of this mountain, but uh, I'm very pleased with this we're gonna pretty much bury this tank so you don't hear that it sounds like a, a drum and so I'll put that on later and so the spring again I'll just take you around here to the source of this awesome water and that is what you've already seen in previous videos so I don't know if I'm at part five or part six or where I am but that water it's sealed, being collected in that spring box. This is excess water uh, that we could tap into, but we're not. We have enough to do what we're doing here. We could put another spring box in, I guess, higher to collect it. But for now, this one works great. It's easy to maintain. Everything is sealed. Uh, the runoff is not going into the spring bed, uh, the head of the spring. And then it is being kept um, underground all the way brought into those nice tanks and then drop down 20 plus feet to the ram so oh finally been working hard on this one this is a lot of crazy digging and then then the lines I'll show you that 
supply line. We put a so there's a line that comes out of the ram called the delivery line, and that feeds the tank up on the hill. And you can see it's starting to turn here, and that goes up the hill and then up another hill up to the tank, 100 foot in elevation. And then this line will be the overflow. Once the tank is full, the overflow will flow back down into the creek. And so we are capturing all the water, no water really being wasted. And so, well, I appreciate you watching my ram pump videos. This is probably my biggest challenge so far, just in terms of terrain. And it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So, if you want a non-electric solution, if you have the fall, have the water, it's just a great way, an old school way of delivering water. They will have uh, approximately 35 PSI of pressure at their fixtures in their house. And uh, the spring was level with their house, and so I'm pumping it up at 70 feet, about 75 feet above their house uh, to a tank, which you've already seen with the water coming in it as proof that this isn't just smoke and mirrors. Um, a lot of people don't understand these things, but they're <laughs> great, great pumps. Um, just can really adjust it. Can, this ram runs three to three gallons to 15 gallons a minute, and um, I think I could have tweak it to get it to run on too but that's what it's rated for the smallest of the rife rams and uh, we're running about five gallons a minute right now so anyway appreciate you watching appreciate any comments you have and hopefully this gives you some ideas if you have water um, even if it's not above your home this is a way to put it above your home without electricity and it pumps for free and so it wasn't free to put it in but it's free <laughs> once you get it installed so anyway Got any questions, fire away. Thanks for watching my channel. Hey, this is Engineer 775 looking inside a water tank. I know I do that a lot. Here with SP1. Yeah, I'm just making him do all the work today. Um, but I, <laughs> we're back filling some lines from our 1700 gallon tank. And you can see the water coming in and that is without electricity. The pump is uh, 110 feet below us in elevation, about 800 feet away, and so it's doing its job. We just calculated uh, about 0.57 gallons a minute, about 800 plus gallons a day, and I'm adjusting, fine-tuning the ram to the spring output. So, anyway, listen to that sound. It's the sound of this is sound of victory. It's probably echoing pretty good inside this tank. But then, spring water, it's a, a wonderful source, and this is going to be gravity so down to the to the uh, retreat here. But I will show you what the ram is. So I can walk down there with my sticky camera. We've got to backfill these ditches. Aren't you done yet? <laughs> Dang, it's taking forever. It's taking forever.